everybody, today I'm going to be doing my April favorites. I'm a little bit late, um, I've had some stuff going on, I think I mentioned, actually I know I mentioned in my last couple videos, I am moving soon. It was kind of a hectic process with that whole thing and so I just haven't had really enough time to sit down and film this. So now I am and um, there's a couple new things in here, a couple old standbys, but I will just go ahead and get into it. So something that I've mentioned before, and I believe I mentioned in my last favorites video, if not my last two, is my MAC Black Track Fluid Line. I am loving this. I'm just really into gel eyeliner right now, and I'm really trying to use this up and get to the bottom of it, but I feel like I don't use a whole lot of it. Like, I don't need to use a whole lot, so I'm hoping I can get this used up before it completely dries out. I've had this for a while, um, and I just use a Sigma um, eyeliner brush for this, so it works really well. Next is my Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. I love this. I, I use this every day. Um, I think there's only been one, one or two days this month that I haven't really worn makeup, um, but I use this every single day and it makes my makeup last. Whether I'm using um, my CoverGirl foundation, my Revlon foundation, um, I just really like this, and especially since I've got oily skin and it's starting to get warmer here. Oh my gosh, it was like in the upper 70s and 80s. Monday through Wednesday this week and it was fabulous. I absolutely loved it. Got a little sun and it was so, so good. So really loving this. Now on to a couple new things. Um, I think I mentioned this before, maybe I mentioned this in my last video, but I did pick up the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast Foundation, I don't know, a couple months ago, maybe a month and a half ago, and I'm in the shade 810, which I think is uh, not, the, quite the, not quite the lightest one, it's Classic Ivory. Um, and I really like this. I've already blown through like half of it, which is kind of scary. <laughs> but the good thing is it's drugstore, so it's not super expensive. Um, but I really, really like this. I think it lasts really well. I know I've mentioned I was going to do a review on it, but I just, I haven't really had the time to sit down and really film it. So, um, if you're still interested in seeing that, I will film that for you. Um, so just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, there are plenty of reviews out there if you guys are sick of hearing or seeing them. So, let me know. Um, I really like this. It's a great every everyday foundation, so can't really say too many bad things about it. So, really, really liking this one. Keeping with face products, I recently, uh, maybe about a month ago, I went on a Sleek's website and finally ordered this little contour kit, and I think mine is in light. I, I want to say they have three shades, at least, um, but I'm sure you all have seen this. It's a UK brand, and it's just got... Um, a bronzer or a contour and a highlight. Now I'm still a little bit light for this um, this contour bronzy shade so I haven't, I used it a couple times but I definitely need to get a little bit more color on my face before I use it on a regular basis because it is a little bit deep um, even though it is the light shade. Um, but I've been loving, loving, loving the heck out of this highlighter right here. Now it's a pink tone highlighter and I'll just do a quick swatch. It looks absolutely fabulous um, and it just gives like a nice sheen to the skin um, and I know I've, I've mentioned to you guys before I have a really hard time with highlighters because I do have oily skin with it making me look really really oily throughout the day and this one I don't feel like does um, I actually just use an F40 brush from Sigma and I just kind of push it right here um, I didn't wear it today um, but I really really do like it um, I've been using it almost every single day and then next is something that I was kind of on the hunt for. I know that um, Revlon came out with some new lip butters, and this one is in Pink Lemonade. And um, I use this like all the time. I actually keep this in my bag that I carry with me at school. Um, and it's just like a nice light pink. Um, you can tell I've used mine <laughs> quite a bit. Um, let me just do a swatch for you. I don't know if it'll show up. It is a very, very light pink, um, but I think it's good for like spring and summer. So. There's the swatch. It's just like a light blush color. I really, really like it. Um, and I love the Revlon Lip Butters. So, very creamy. Really, really like it. I know it's kind of hard to see. Like, my lighting's coming in really, really heavy today. So, but I really, really like this. I know they've got three other shades, but I haven't really, like, looked into them. Um, nothing's really caught my eye yet. So, we'll see. I also don't want to buy, like, a whole bunch of stuff because I'm moving and it's just more things to pack so I hate packing um, okay the next two things are like fashiony favorites both are from Target and my first one is these sunglasses 
and they've got this nice like florally print they're kind of dirty excuse that um, around the rim but I really really like it they're very very cute they're very big um, but who doesn't love oversized sunglasses so I really really like these I've been wearing these almost every single day um, I wear them to class and um, so especially since we eat outside for lunch or we have been recently because it's been so nice so really really like these I think these were $12.99 at Target I'm not quite positive um, I bought them right after my no buy ended in February so if you want to go to Target and look for these um, I'll try to find um, a link to them on the website and put them in the info box below if you oh, I almost hit myself in the face there if you're interested in looking at these or purchasing them and then last is another thing from Target and it is this scarf right here I wore this in a couple of my recent videos and it's just this nice light green I wouldn't say mint color but a, a light green color with this floral print on it and it is just beautiful it's really lightweight so um, when it's in like the 60s or even 50s here um, I will wear it and it's it's so soft it's so light so it's not like doesn't make my neck sweaty or anything and it's just so pretty it's perfect for spring which I know everybody's excited for summer but we are still in spring spring lasts until June 20th 21st so don't say goodbye to spring yet people even though it is getting warmer so I really really like this so that's it for my April favorites I hope you guys enjoyed it um, let me know if you tried any of these products below or what you've been loving um, or what you loved last month since it is May now um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this please bear with me while I'm kind of going through this transition of moving and all that stuff I'll try to pre-film some videos to put up whilst I am in the process of moving and packing so you guys don't go you know two weeks without seeing my lovely face in your subscription box so anyways I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you soon bye